part of Sherry's effectiveness is that she works very well with members of both parties, Republicans and Democrats. Uh, I was talking to my associate director, Cody Eccles, recently, and he said, uh, when I started, my boss said to me, uh, you know who in, I, in higher education you can trust uh, unequivocally, Sherry Burke. She somehow managed to walk this very elegant line between meeting us as fully, fully invested equal partners in legislative advocacy and also um, serving a very powerful mentor role in supporting and encouraging students to participate and develop their ideas. She really cares about students. Uh, and she's just totally focused on that. I think she's a realist. Uh, again, going back to uh, 2007 and 8, Sherry actually understood, you know, she's a piece to the puzzle. And she wasn't totally unrealistic. She knew that everybody was going to have to take cuts. Uh, but she was still a strong advocate. I think it just showed a real sense of class and sensitivity. And again, just that passion for higher education. Uh, for someone who has been involved in higher education and other settings for a number of years, local government, economic development, there is no better person to have received this award. And you, you just really value the proposition and those few occasions when organizations realize the substance of this talent. And I just couldn't be any more pleased for our old friend. Sherry has just a unique ability to manage the need for incredibly important data with those personal relationships, with those personal stories. And then you bring students and faculty and administrators together for that authentic connection. And representatives and legislators who deal with higher education know that there's something different about that because those stories tie to data and they tie to authentic policy. It's just a fantastic combination and she's very unique in making that work so well. Well, I've known Sherry for years, uh, starting off when I was in the state legislature. Uh, at that time, Sherry was representing the University of Washington, and then later on, after I became governor, she moved on uh, to work for Western Washington University. And she was one of the most respected, uh, hardworking advocates for higher education uh, known throughout the state capitol. And uh, basically, whatever Sherry said, we tried to accommodate. Well, she, she's a political junkie. She loves politics, and uh, needless to say, not everybody loves politics, but she does, and she has, therefore, a keen sense of what these people are doing that she's attempting to influence. She not only finds it challenging and enjoyable, but she respects politicians. If you're trying to influence them, and that's what Sherry does for a living. It helps if you understand what their problems are. We wanted to create an interdisciplinary science center. She helped us to figure out how to package this thing and how to make it, you know, fine tune it so that it made sense to people beyond Western. She's helped me personally on a number of occasions where I was either meeting with a, a legislator, an individual, or whether I was doing testimony at a hearing. She was always very, very helpful getting me ready for that. What, what, are, what were we trying to accomplish? What's the best way to accomplish that? Where are we going with it? And again, she did it in a very friendly and cheerful way. Um, it made it very easy. And I was always very happy to talk to her. Yeah, it's a pleasure working with Sherry since the day I arrived. She's uh, handled all of our legislative relations for us. And that's a relationship where we spent a lot of time together, walking the halls of the state capitol, we spent a lot of time together on the phone worrying about the latest catastrophe. Sometimes I think uh, we play sort of whack-a-mole trying to beat down all the various uh, ideas that people have about how to uh, uh, affect higher education. But Sherry has just done a superb job of all these things. And really, we're all deeply grateful to the university to her, but it's really the people of the state of Washington who owe Sherry a deep debt of gratitude because she's been there to support public higher education in Western and and it is our mission to uh, apply our strengths to the needs of the state of Washington. Sherry's been there to make sure that in very difficult times, when overall Washington cut higher education funding by 50%, that still the core excellence of Western came through largely unscathed. Sherry is a great example of the power of one. She recognizes the importance of collaboration and is very successful in bringing people together to help advocate and create the, the greatest case statement possible 
for the legislature to consider in funding critically important programs for our students. Here at Western, that footprint includes programs like our Behavioral Neurosciences program, our Advanced Materials program, the Institute for Energy Studies, the conversion of our engineering technology to engineering program, and the expansion of our computer science program, all of which meet really serious needs for the state of Washington. Sherry, on behalf of everyone here at Western Washington University, the University of Washington, all the people that you've worked with in Olympia and throughout the state of Washington, congratulations on your selection as the winner of the 2014-15 Sweet Johnson Award. It is so richly deserved.